All right, everybody, this is number two in the first person RPG series. Um, let me just show you what we've got here. I created a scene with just little trees, and we still have the counter here. In fact, I have to rename the scene. It's still the time control test. I'm going to rename it uh, to be, I guess, movement test or something. Um, and we've got a character controller here, a uh, player object that can look around with the mouse. Uh, the top of the rotation, bottom of the rotation is capped. So it can't uh, get to the um, the pinnacle of the circle, of the sphere. And we can move around with the movement buttons. Strafe side to side, move forward and back. And with the character controller, we can go upstairs, uh, which we've set up right here. And when we go to the top, we can fall down with a gravity and a multiplier that we use. So let me go through what I'm doing here. Uh, I, I wanted a character that doesn't use physics. Um, I don't want my character to be uh, affected by things hitting it and whatnot. Uh, and so I chose to go with the character controller uh, setup rather than a rigid body. I may adjust this later if I if I need it in the game, but for now I'm pretty sure this is all I'll need to do. The character controller is something you can look up in Unity. I think um, uh, there's a lot of uh, documentation, of course, for how it works right here, and there's a manual as well. Um, so go through that if you don't know about it already. So I, all I did was create an, an empty character uh, named player object, add the character controller and our play, player movement script here. Um, we'll go through that in one second. I just want to uh, do one other show one other thing that I added to the um, to the scripts here. Um, I add a uh, game control script, and in my control objects, uh, I now have a game controller as well as the time controller so the game controller only has our game control script on it and the only thing right now it has is paused with it, which is an integer uh, if it's zero the game is not paused if it's above zero the game is paused and then I've got this function to adjust the pause uh, and it adds a value either I'm going to add either one or negative one um, so when I open a menu uh, for instance in our canvas we have our button open window which is this button in the bottom corner I added a new on click for game control adjust so I just dragged this down here uh, chose game control and adjust pause and I say one um, and then in my panel here close window we've got the same thing but negative one let's check out the player movement script and again this is attached to our player object and on our player object there's the camera I have set offset the camera uh, on the Z by just 0.2 and I've got it at uh, 0.25 Y which is really 75% uh, from the bottom to the top considering that the player object is a 2 foot tall character or 2 meter tall uh, character controller. So the camera is attached to that, that's very important. Um, so our player movement script, uh, we have our variables up here, our move speed. Uh, and our movement speed mod. Move speed mod is going to be used for when, uh, slow spells or whatnot. Um, perhaps if an enemy casts an, an, a freeze spell, move speed mod equals zero. Um, later, we're going to multiply the, the total move speed by this value. So if it's one, there's no modifications. If it's zero, the player won't be able to move at all. And if it's um, like 0.5, then they'll slow down by half. Rotate speed, this is the speed for the horizontal rotation. Tilt sensitivity. Tilt is computed differently than the rotation, so the tilt sensitivity is a multiplier for vertical rotation. Uh, invert vertical, an option for eventually allowing users to invert their vertical um, rotation if they so choose. Uh, max tilt is how much uh, the camera can tilt up and down. I think I changed this to 75 in Unity, so we'll in the inspector, so we'll change that here too. Gravity multiplier, a multiplier for falling. If you feel that gravity is either too fast or too slow, you can adjust it here easily. Uh, and also, if you have a spell like um, a feather fall spell, you could adjust that so that the user falls more slowly. At some point, I'm going to add code where if the user falls, falls quickly and lands, they take damage and perhaps die. Uh, that way, there could be a feather fall spell where they fall more slowly, and when they land, they don't actually take damage. Um, this is a player camera and the character controller. So on start, we cache the character controller. And 
uh, we check if the player prefs are uh, inverting the vertical. Uh, right now there will be no player prefs set, so that's going to come out as false. So we're going to um, not invert the vertical. And on our update, if game control pause equals zero, we're going to do our mo movement and rotation. This is where the pause comes in. If, if uh, the game is paused, if the pause is anything but zero, um, then uh, none of this will run. So our movement's pretty simple. Uh, we start by declaring a variable vector 3, then we set that with our input axis horizontal, uh, a gravity multiplier, and uh, delta time, and then our uh, axis vertical. The next line makes uh, the movement happen towards the direction of the character. Without this, it will just move in world space. And then we adjust the speed, uh, multiply move direction by the move speed and move speed mod. And finally, we pass that to the character controller with the move command, move direction, and time times delta time. Uh, next is do rotation. There's two parts to this. The first part is the uh, horizontal rotation. That's We'll call that side rotation here. We're going to get our mouse x axis and multiply that by the rotate speed and the time. And then we're going to simply add that to our um, y rotation on the character controller. Uh, the vertical value, however, is for the tilt, and this is going to be applied to the camera, not to the character controller. Um, uh, so our vertical value is going to be our x, or y, rather, our y-axis, multiplied by the sensitivity. You can adjust that if you'd like it more or less, or let your users uh, adjust it within reason. Uh, if we are not going to invert the vertical, then we're going to multiply that value by negative one. Uh, and then camera rotation is uh, is our current local rotation of the camera. The next section I actually uh, translated from the uh, uh, from the mouse look .cs script that comes with the standard assets. Um, I like a lot of what they do, but I wanted a much more simple implementation. Uh, and also, since I don't code in C Sharp, it was much easier for me to do um, the JavaScript. Plus, this stuff I don't actually understand fully because this looks like trigonometry, and trigonometry is not my forte. Um, gen ba basically, what it's doing is it's taking um, the 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 angle, uh, the vertical value, and um, we're adding that but clamping the the rotation to the um, to the uh, maximum degrees that we set the 75 degrees uh, if we don't do this type of code then you run into problems because you get the whole angle being either you know negative 15 degrees is actually less than zero but it might be displayed as 345 degrees which is more than zero so it can cause some problems um, so I don't fully understand this part of the code. Uh, perhaps you guys do more than me, uh, but it works, and that's the important part. So that's pretty much all there is uh, to the script. The next step we're going to do is add um, our mobile movement controls. So that'll be number three.